So today we're going to be talking about May Turner syndrome. I'm going to explain to you what is May Turner syndrome, what are the problems it causes, and how it can be easily treated. Arteries are those thick blood vessels that take the blood from the heart to all your organs. For this video, the important thing to know is you have a big artery called the aorta, which will bifurcate into the right iliac artery and the left iliac artery, and that will be taking all the blood to feed both your legs. Once the blood goes through the circulation in your feet, you will come back to the heart to the other type of blood vessels who are called veins. Left iliac artery and the right iliac artery, and they join together to form the IVC. When the right iliac artery compresses the left iliac vein, and this compression of the vein will block the blood flow from coming from the left leg to the heart. And this is a condition that most commonly it's present probably since you were born. And most people over time can compensate either by developing new collateral veins that will reroute the blood flow to the heart. But if you have this condition, you will always have a stagnant flow in this vein. The flow is not going to be the same as in the other leg. What happens is this puts you at high risk for having a blood clot in the left leg. And this can be a massive blood clot. If you develop that, you can develop a very significant swelling of the thigh and the calf. The leg can get red, swollen, and painful. May Turner also can cause varicose veins in the left leg, which are essentially a symptom of the blood having difficulty going up. But sometimes May Turner syndrome may be asymptomatic. Pa patients may have it and never had any symptoms. If you have a blood clot caused by this, the first thing we do is go in and remove all those blood clots. We have newer devices that are super effective in cleaning up your venous system. And once we do that, we actually inject dye in your veins and you, we can see this narrowing where the artery crosses the vein. And once we make that diagnosis, we can easily put the stent, which is a little metallic cage that will expand the area and completely relieve the compression. And with time, it will be incorporated to our vein. And when you look from the inside, it will just look like your normal vein. In summary, if you have venous symptoms, mostly on the left leg, you should always think about May Turner syndrome. And we have more information about this from our website. But for now, I hope this helped you. Thank you for joining in on other Minimal Invasive Insights.